Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, I think I'm out. Okay, um, I am out on the dock right now. Don't hate me. I uh, I didn't buy pre-shredded collards. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I can just cut it out. Yeah, so I'm I'm out here right now cutting them up. If you want to just come down to the dock. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I love this. You're in for a treat. Tangi is a young, self-taught chef here in town. She's got a heck of a following on TikTok. She's going to teach us how to cook collards and hoppin' johns. Making this authentic southern dish just before New Year's. Just hang on. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This episode's kind of uh, kind of different than what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of the projects, building that thing out. As you can see, it's on the bottom right now. I need to get it out on the river, on the water doing stuff. But this episode's me sitting there working through with Tangi. Right now, what you're gonna see is the dialogue of me talking with Tangi as we cut up and prep collards. I, uh, I learned a lot filming this. There's a lot that I learned, and there's a lot that I didn't learn. There's a lot that I, I really need your input. So if you're still watching this right now, rather than smash that like button, rather than subscribe or any of that, please drop in the comments below some critiques, some pointers, what you wanna see, what you didn't see. The goal of the channel will be, can I walk down a ladder? That's a pretty good goal. That's the immediate goal right now. Can I walk down this ladder while talking to you and not fall in the mud? Let's see if we can do it. Um, the goal is though, can I look at you? Oh Jesus. <laughs> the goal is though, is to get this thing out moving on the river, run around the low country and just uh, get cooking with different chefs, cook different iconic plates of the low country. Uh, I wanna be cooking them on the water, on the boat, out there. Still gonna be playing with the format of how the channel develops and everything. But like I said, I, I know I need to get you a different point of view, so I got one of these. I do have some GoPros. The problem with GoPros, I break them. I don't know how I don't break these cameras, uh, but I break GoPros. I, I put one on Mariner. He ran into something while I was mounted on the top and it broke and then he went in the water. So it broke the lens, was no longer waterproof, went in the water, salt water fried it, dead. I mean, this episode right now, we're just dialogue, open dialogue, kind of just chatting with Tangi. Not really too much of the recipe. I'll see if I can get her to share that. I'll leave you to a quick cooking montage and then we'll be back at the end. So see you in a sec. How'd you come into cooking? So uh, one day I was home, bored, chilling, and I told my girlfriend, I was like, you should record me cooking. And then yeah. it just was like, from there, like, <laughs> like. So she recorded you cooking. And, and then it started blowing up on TikTok, and then everybody, I posted it on Facebook for the first time, thinking like, nobody really gonna pay me no attention. <laughs> like, they're not gonna take me serious. It started going crazy, you know, like, I mean, like, it started blowing up. I'm like, no, I gotta keep doing this. I'm like, so this really could be a thing. Like I really could make money off of my talent. So I'm like, no, I gotta start doing it. So one of my friends, she had an event. She was the first event that I ever did. I did it. That was my first video on TikTok. I got over a million views on that video. And ever since then, it just was like, <laughs> <laughs> it just started taking off from there. <laughs> a million views on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I, that, you're really that doing me. your thing with that. <laughs> I said, you're really doing your thing with that. <laughs> like, my granny would be so proud of you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure she has something to pick up. <laughs> she definitely would. Yeah. This is why I don't let her help me when I do events. <laughs> you're really a foodie. I will tell you, some people get mad at me when I cook, though, because I am a big fan of honey and brown sugar. Me too. So, <laughs> I, I got taste it, and I'm like, oh, you know what it needs? And they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, then you gotta taste my honey garlic lamb chops. Honey garlic lamb yes, chops. Yes, you honey. gotta taste it. That's a perfect for you. If you like honey and sugar, brown sugar, oh, you gonna love that. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you need to cook them on? Well, the um, lamb chops? Yeah. I could cook that on that, um... On the flat top? Mm-hmm. So it sounds like we're buying lamb chops soon. The next time, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the meat market and get it, though. Publix only give you, like, six of them for, like, 20-something dollars. You go to the meat market, you could get about 
16 for like $30. Let's just take them out because we'll throw everything in the pot. This is so classic. I'm so proud of you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, I need you to chill, bud. <laughs> you want to Mayor's play. like, throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's ball is life for him. <laughs> So remember that um the low um American Culinary Federation thing y'all telling yeah, me about? Yeah. So I actually was doing some research on it, and then I found like an apprenticeship program. Really? Mm -hmm. It's about us inside North Carolina. Okay. So I talked to the chef today for like I guess that was like a formal interview that we did. Yeah. So he wanted me to come in for an in-person interview, but during the in-person interview, I gotta cook something. He said he gonna give me a mystery box. Okay. And I'm gonna have to cook something. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's a great opportunity. You know, Tangie, that's actually a great idea. If you're cooking with Tangie, you invite the exactly. guest. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's cool, right? That is very cool. <laughs> All right. So apple cider, we're going to put some of this in there, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really just because these things are so dirty. Freaking dirty. <laughs> very dirty. You want me to pour some of this water on here? Yeah. That's, you yeah. Get that? Collard greens are very dirty. Yeah. You really know what you're doing. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> I mean, I have a slight idea, but... No, Derek, trust me. You know what you're doing, man. With a little bit of that, and then we let them soak, right? Yep. Oh, we let these <laughs> soak. What are we going to go do now? I guess we can get the um, meat in the pot rolling, because that's going to take the longest. Yeah. So yeah, the goal of this episode was to film with Tangi, cooking Hoppin' John's, cooking collards and all of that. Kind of give you a, like a feel of it. Ended up not really giving you a recipe to follow and I apologize for that. This is my first time actually filming a, a cooking version of something. Learned a lot, have a lot to take away from it. If you're still watching at this point, I'd actually appreciate you if you go down in the comments below. Give me any input, insight, anything that you see, critique it, tear it apart, troll it, whatever you want to do. At, at this point, it's it's a starting point for, uh, for however this show is going to develop and that's what I'm looking for. Like I said, I, I want to take the boat out on the river, travel around the low country, meet with different chefs, get them out cooking, you know, share that, share that experience with you. Do a little talking about them, their life story, do a little talking about food. I'm a foodie, I'm a fatty, I'm a foodie too, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, That's so crazy. <laughs> let's do all that over again. <laughs> that is crazy. That was a really good shot. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> like, that we're, was like, we're just going to end it here. We're not even going to tell you how it is because yeah, yeah, I forgot like, to press record. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh. This is great. How about the Hoppin' Johns? Mmm. <laughs> you gotta like mix it all together, like. You do? You gotta get a little bit I, of I'm trying to get it all right. separate. <laughs> Definitely gonna come in here and get some with some bark on it of your world famous. Mm hmm Yeah. And I eat nothing all day, so. <laughs> that is good. Mm -hmm. That is good. I am glad. I still don't understand why you would even ask. If you would want some of that, right? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All I'm going to say is you're, you're getting left to clean up the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to go sit over there with some mac and cheese. Hope you all have a happy new year. Good luck in 2023. <laughs> see um, y'all on the next episode. I'm going to see if I, uh, if I survive all this, <laughs> all this mac and cheese. See you. Yeah.